I'm on a mission to figure out where the notorious doctor, Joseph Mengele, fits into Hitler's hierarchy of evil. I've come to the site of a former Nazi concentration camp at Sachsenhausen to meet someone who chose her career after coming across one of Mengele's victims. Astrid? Oh, James. Hi. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Dr. Astrid Ley is a historian and deputy head of Sachsenhausen Memorial and Museum. So what was it that launched you into this field of study? Actually, it was the encounter with a, with a victim of Mengele's experiments that I had many, many, many years ago after I finished school. And, and for her, the most terrible thing was that she um, kind of didn't know how it affected her health. So I made it my goal to, to find out what the Nazi doctors did and tell it to the surviving victims. Joseph Mengele is the name people most associate with medical experiments in Nazi concentration camps and death camps. But obviously he wasn't the only doctor working in those places. How widespread was that practice? It was a very widespread phenomenon in, in all of the bigger camps um, medical experimentation took place and it started immediately after the Germans had begun the war. The Nazis also encouraged medical experimentation to support the war effort. Doctors were trying to cure injuries resulting from war by testing vaccines for, for infectious diseases that come up during the war, like hepatitis, like typhus. The Fuhrer offered up a deeply unsettling and vast new testing ground to unethical physicians like Joseph Mengele looking to make medical history. For doctors and for ambitious researchers, Ethical constraints on using human subjects could sometimes be frustrating. The concentration camp system provided subjects that doctors were free to experiment on as much as they wanted. What sorts of medical experiments were taking place here? At that time, hepatitis was not known like we know today being a viral infection. So one doctor, what he did is that he went to Auschwitz, he selected with Mengele 11 Jewish boys, the boys were transferred to Sachsenhausen. The boys were infected with tissue biopsied from German soldiers suffering from hepatitis. We do have testimonies of a prisoner's nurse, a male nurse, who was describing how the boys were crying, what, what extreme pain and how, how they were frightened. And the doctor didn't seem to care. These Polish Jewish boys, for him, they were nothing better than guinea pigs. During the war, a grisly array of medical experiments was conducted across eight of the largest concentration camps. How could a doctor whose job it is to care for people, how could they be so cruel? Yeah, this is what we really don't understand. It shows an extreme uh, ability to, to distance yourself from the suffering of your victim. And, and you can only do that when you don't consider this person being a, a human being. Empathy is the ability to feel what another person is feeling. If you feel sad when you see another person sad, or you get scared when you see another person who's scared, uh, that's empathy. It's quite clear that the Nazis didn't feel empathy because they dehumanized their victims to such an extent that they didn't feel empathy for those people. The appalling way in which these experiments were conducted ultimately did next to nothing to advance medical science, except in a small handful of isolated cases. Today we know that hepatitis is an, a viral disease because of this experimentation. That's really, really disturbing. So the medical experiments were both for uh, helping uh, soldiers on the front line, but also as part of justification for Nazi racial ideology. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Joseph Mengele would take this ideologically based research to another horrific level. Mengele was interested in heredity. And at that time, a way to study heredity, to see which characteristics were environmental and which were inherited, was to look at twins. And I'm guessing that twin research, was that something that was specific to Mengele, or was that something that was being done in the wider scientific field at that time? It was something that was very acknowledged, and Mengele was uh, actually, he was not a nobody. He was one of the leading geneticists. In 1938, Mengele, in a, in a book review he wrote about a, a twin study, he said, the, the biggest problem we have is that we can never dissect twins at the same time, because twin couples hardly ever die at the same time. So this is why he became a concentration camp physician. He went to Auschwitz, because in Auschwitz he would have the chance of experimenting on testing, examining more twins, and he planned to later write about it, use it in order to make his scientific career. To find out what exactly Joseph Mengele did to make his scientific career, I need to go to the place most synonymous with his cruel legacy. He used to visit the children with some sweets. Uh, he was bringing just for them. 